hello uh, this is somehow a follow-up to an old video I've made uh, where uh, my friend and I tried to make uh, a segmentation algorithm out of generated data out of synthetic data and we thought that the next step would be to try photogrammetry to generate the 3d files because we used 3d files so that's what we are trying to do here um, the first step was to take pictures of a plant i think it's a vine plant i don't think i'm sure so around 60 pictures and then uh, we i used meshroom um, so it's really easy to use you download it and zip it um, and then you get this this folder then you just double click on mushroom I'm on Ubuntu but I guess it's the same on other uh, operating systems as well and then drag and drop the pictures and click on start it takes a bit of time I think around 10 minutes or 5 minutes and then um, you get something like this maybe a bit more like this so th these are the points it extracted so sadly here you can see the pictures it used it didn't use these ones that i think are quite feature rich because it could probably not link them to to the, to the old ones and um it didn't use any backward um this one's picture sadly so this one is not a complete fail but not a complete success neither then you should have here a, a button a open model if you don't have it click on machine then click on open model and then you should be able to see something like this which is i don't know why it did this but that's not a problem you can clean this afterwards uh i don't know this seems this really doesn't seem bad look it it does actually seems very good i mean this part's not very well done but this part is pretty clean if it can be used like this so the next step was to import this to a uh, blender for this you go to texturing open folder and you should see textured a mesh dot obg and you can just import it into blender uh, so where is it blender here import obg and you import it yeah i, I broke this this view i don't know how to close this i need to, to google this um so here we go this is maybe i should rotate this one oh no okay i guess on this side it's really not so bad then i went to shading this is why why i was here and then i added i reduced the roughness and i uh, increased the value of the metallic so the metallic is how shiny it is and roughness is somehow the same but not really i cannot you see so since uh when you look at the pictures which are nowhere you can see that we we have some so it depends on the on the viewing angle but we have some reflection here that's what i try to reproduce so if i increase the metallic part sorry i don't know why this doesn't work okay just very very you see if i increase this it should be somewhere in between i guess and if we move uh, one of the lights 
we can see the, the effects on this one. This one seems pretty good. Now if I click on F12. But actually this is not so bad. I, I mean this part is really not good, but this part it needs to be clean. Maybe I, I did it uh, with my without any stable. Um, just took some quick pictures, but if you make a nice setup, if you put in place a nice setup with maybe a disc, a rolling disc, you know that you can get at IKEA, and you take maybe a video even better, that could make it actually very good that's something to explore thank you for watching uh, we'll maybe do a video of the next step using this for the simulator thank you for watching i hope this was helpful <laughs>